Steve will play it. Because she's a crazy Steve. Her gamer, gamer. Hopefully this song gets shorter for you guys. Because she thinks the last one was too long. But she still is a crazy cat lady. You gamer. Hopefully this is the last one because like before, I don't like singing these songs. Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use for educational and entertainment purposes. doing the Justice League and the Justice League Ultimate cartoon, so I'm decided to do it together. So it's basically Ultimate just the same cartoon but with more characters. And they mostly just focus on the same one, but they just add a couple more to the bunch. A lot more to the bunch, but still. So basically Justice League, the fur the the one that has like two both have two seasons. That's why I combine them together, so so there's four seasons I'm having to talk about um, here. So let's start with Justice League. Um, it, it starts with Original 7, and that is um, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Hawk Girl, Flash, M M um, Martian Manhunter, and the Green Lantern. Now, they do, like, it, the ones that you're probably surprised that they do, because they skip over, they skip over, um, um, Barry Allen and, um, and, um, I forgot, um, Hal Jordan, that's his name, um, the, which are, which is, as you know, the first flash is um, supposed to be the root of the flash for the the flash in um, the live action show, and Hal Jordan is also the first Green Lantern. But since this happened right after the crisis on Infinite Earth and the continents have been near that, they um, decided to go with the second generation of those two, Wally West and John Stewart. Um, so there was that. And so, basically, they vote the all seven of them up after um, the alien invasion inside. Um, they will team up any time they need to, but mostly, they're not not all seven of them are not always there. But they'll they, but they're there because usually Bruce, Batman, my Bruce, he always ends up saying, "I have to go back to Gotham because that's his home land." I don't care what Batgirl said, that one says in her TV show. Bruce Wayne would never really abandon Gotham, in my, my, in my view. Um, so, yeah. And that's basically, the, they, they spent a bunch of episodes defending the Earth like usual. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they do off the Earth if they need to. So, these are my favorite ep my favorite five episodes since we're going to do five for each um, TV show. So, if I need to read the synopsis, I get it off my phone for you guys. But number five is Only a Dream, which is basically um, a guy, which is basically, I think his name is Dreamer, um, is trying to invade um, the Justice League's mind because he wants to be a villain but he was a guy a criminal he was, is a, just a regular criminal who was just um, in jail but he got infected by a, by um, something that made him into where he can evade their dreams and he gets but he, he kills his girlfriend 
So it's kind of like Freddy C is like Freddy Cougar because he does kill his girlfriend by invading her dreams. So there's that. And he comes, he invades everybody's dreams except for Batman. Batman would not fall asleep. He has refused to fall asleep. He kept on, like, kept them running, kept them driving, got a triple multiple lot. <laughs> Gotta sleep sometime. <laughs> Give me a triple. <gasps> now. <laughs> I love that part, that scene. He goes straight into a coffee machine and hands in the money, dresses Batman. It says, give me a triple. <laughs> I love that scene. And the fact that he spends, and then makes the last bit of it, we, he's trying to save them, trying to save his friends. He is um, humming a song, and it's getting on the dreamer's nerves. But Flash has to like deal with them. Everything's frozen for his dream. And, um... Clark, I think, has to, like, he ends up hurting a bunch of people. He can't touch anybody. That's his worst nightmare. Um, can't remember all of them, but those are the two that mostly stick out in my mind. So, yeah, so that's number five. Hereafter is when, um, Toy Man, um, does something that actually destroys Superman. And, um, he has, and Superman... But um, everybody believes that he's dead, except for Bruce. Bruce refuses to believe that he's dead. He um, tries to like this, um, do his detective work, but he ends up at the very end of the first part of the episode believing that he is dead. But then we see him like in the future with um, um. Forgot his name. Um, but then he has to be in, like in the future where Vandal Savage is his only man alive because Vandal Savage can't die. <laughs> um, so there's that, and he ha but he has to do without Clark has to do without um, using his superpowers because um, for people who don't know how his powers work, that he gets his powers from our sun, so the yellow sun, so. If there was a red sun in the sky, he won't have his powers. He's basically a plant. <laughs> he gets his powers through photosynthesis. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. So when he gets back to our world, he is he ha he's like dressed all weird. He has a beard and stuff like that. Um, and he gets like after um, Band of Savage and him use um a time machine that he made that they made together and he gets sent back in time and and corrects the problem that um what Vandal Savage is up doing is he ends up destroying the world and made it where he's the only one there but he regrets after what he did because now he's all alone he can't exactly rule the world if he's the only one there <laughs> so there's that so that's episode sorry, number four take number three is wild card which is basically um Joker is grabbing the world plus game and he's making the Justice League look for bombs the whole entire episode and um but he's doing it on TV which is totally Joker and this one's really good because um he is like fall Joker is like falling for um this a teenager basically <laughs> named Ace because the floor world plus game is basically a pack with his care as um villains named after a pack of cards. So you got like the king, queen, joker, ace, and stuff like that. Um and basically the one there's like a bunch of them, like the ones that are fighting, those are the ones that the Justice League had to work up. But the one that is just sitting there with Joker is named Ace. And her deal is that if you stare at her too long, you get hypnotized. 
like while they were looking at the um while the rest of Jeff Lee was looking for the bomb, Ace is mo is mostly staring at the camera, waiting for the opportunity to strike and get ready under her spell. And Joker is like falling in love with her, and Harley is pissed <laughs> when he, she finds this out. Mostly, um, we see like um, we think that um, John Stewart's dead for a little while, um, because of the one the bombs blew up on him. Um, Flash had to like just grab a bomb and like run away and really fast to where nobody would like nobody would get affected but him. <laughs> So there's that, and um, Batman also has to instruct Lash how to cut what's wild enough to cut, while Joker's trying to distract him. And there's so I just mostly like the fact that there is um, that Joker is like making Harley like really jealous, and Harley like kicks that kicks his butt afterwards, <laughs> and. A uh, how like one for one moment Joker had Batman and his clutches that while well, while well, Batman's like looking at um Ace and and Joker was able to kick his butt for to kick Batman's butt for a while but Harley came to the rescue and said How dare you love a teenager more than me <laughs> Well what do you expect? Joker is a pervert <laughs> You should have no what you're signing for, Harley. <laughs> so there's that and and Blackest Night, which is um Blackest Night is basically um when um Green Knight uh, <laughs> Green Lantern, what is he Green Knight for? Green Lantern gets accused of blowing up a, pl a planet. And everybody but Batman is trying to, um, to say that he's innocent. You know, um, Green Lantern is not believing. If he gets sent to court in this space, this is one of the few times that he is, um, also, that he, that this doesn't take place on Earth. Because mostly this and on off planet so there's that so and those two uh, and they have to like and, and flash is like being his lawyer <laughs> and they find out like that somebody that um like the things that were um the green lanterns or the green lanterns were, were basically just robots trying to and they're trying to use the the um, the, the trial is a distraction. Why are they going to get the power of the Green Lantern Corps? And what happens is when Green Lantern finds out that they did it, accuse him of doing it, he absorbs the robots with, into his reign. So there's that. And also, I'm going to make this also number two. We need to look at the episode's name, but it's the episode um, that has to do with um, Aquaman. Because I do like um, the episode of um, that they that that is um, I also like that one because what Aquaman goes to do to save his son, he ends up cutting his arm off in order to save his baby. That part is like so good, and this one actually has Batman in it. So, but mostly I just like that part, and so I'm just gonna say that part. That one, that one, so there's that. Um, so the number one is Star is Star Crushed, which is basically um they find out that um, Hawk Girl is a spy from the Tamar Tamarian, so the Tamarians can take over Earth, and they can use it to fight off some alien species, and but she helps them fight off the Earth, and I. Like how Bruce uh, like sneaks up onto the onto the, um, the spaceship dressed up as a civilian, and he like takes it down from the inside. And but they debate if they should allow Hawk Girl back onto the on the on the, the, on the team after this, but she decides 
to leave on her own in terms because she has no she can trust herself to begin with. So now we're on to the alt, uh, just this alt one, which is basically um, they invite the rest of the superheroes onto the Justice League. The ones that we have not mentioned. I'm not going to name them all because there's too many. I'll name the ones that are mentioned in this show. But basically, like the ones that are main characters that are new is the Green Lantern, Black Canary, Supergirl, The Question, and... Well, she gets kicked off later on by Huntress. Those are the ones I would say are now part of the main cast. And they have to fight... Um, um, the, the bad Justice League more often because that, well, they only have to fight like um, Lex and usually um, Grodd um, who's always those are the two that are always leaders of them and um, Black and uh, also they also have to fight um the ones that are like formed by the government, was was made was who makes the um, the Suicide Squad. But I don't know what you would call that. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the name is called. Um, a them, but the one that man the group that Amanda Waller forms, with a bunch of them, the ones that are just part of the government. It's kind of like Shield. <laughs> so yeah. So, those are the ones you most have to fight in these episodes, but, so, my number five for this one is called Kid Stuff, when, um, um, the Justice League gets turned into kids by, um, King Arthur's sister. <laughs> I think that's her name, that, that's what she is, but, and her son, um, she, and he turns her, turns the, just, turns, everybody, makes all the adults disappear, so, uh, King Arthur's sister, um, which is this basically, is what, um, Madame Men's based off of, but, and King Arthur, um, so that, there's that, and she has, she's the one that turns the Justice League into kids, so they can go back and save the world, since all the adults are, like, banished to, like, another dimension, and she is being ban banished, too, but he is not, because, um, her son's not able to age, and, but, they end a fight, and that, and the fight, yeah, it's fine, it's so weird seeing these guys as kids, <laughs> so weird! <laughs> Weird. Um, and that we see um, Green Lantern with glasses. Okay. Um, I don't get that. Like when you're a kid, you get glasses, and when you're an adult, you like grow out of it. It's called stigmatism, I guess. But there's that. And and they, well, the way they make it is where they make him turn him into a, he turns himself into an adult and that's where uh, it like stops it from happening and all the kids and all the adults get brought back so yeah so number four is Clash which is basically Captain Marble or Shazam is um, part of the Justice League for this, this one episode and he's like because um, Lex is like running for a president and um, Shazam's like really back him up and saying that he, we should trust him because he's now good. And Clark and Superman being Clark is saying like no way. <laughs> and um, so Cl Lex Luthor is like building a city named Luther City or something like that. And Lex and um, he invites Superman there. And Superman sends himself to like the move Earth that he thinks might be a bomb. And so he's trying to reach through by turning the whole entire town. But um Kazan stopping him. And they're having a fight. And um we find out that um 
Clark was set up by Lex, which is not too surprising to make him make Superman look bad because the bomb was nothing. It was just something to like help stop stuff stop stuff from happening. And if you touch the Superman it blew up. So it was just meant that it, the whole entire thing with no her meant was supposed to humiliate Superman and it worked. Now a lot of them don't trust him anymore than before. So it kinda of worked and, and even though Lex did not prove did not expect Sam to tear up the town, it still worked in his favor because but Suzanne leaves um, the Justice League after this because he did not like that um, he was having to fight Superman at this like at, like this at all. So yeah, so the, I, the next two are like finales to like the last season. So number three is Destroyer, which is the one I just had done watching, where um, Darkseid comes back after Batman after Superman destroyed him. Because Lex is an idiot, and he ends up bringing bringing him back. He's trying to get back Brainiac so he can be a god again. And so when he finds out that it's actually Darks that he brought back instead of Brainiac, he um, asks the Justice League for help. Yet they all have to team up together, and um, the ones that Lex gets him with is Batman and. And Superman because Superman wants to keep an eye on him, keep an eye on Lex, but Batman has to keep an eye on both of them. <laughs> so yeah, and it's his idea to let them let let them team up with them, but he knew he had to do to them. They're going after um, Dark Side personally, and it takes all three of them to, to beat them and stuff like that. And Lex like, goes and gets the anti-life equation to beat Darkseid. Um, he even offers Batman a gun, but you know Batman doesn't do guns. He has every other weapon but guns. <laughs> he knows how to use the gun, but he doesn't just, just doesn't use one because you know him. He hates guns because what his parents were killed by. <laughs> <He'd>, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so that was episode, or that was episode this, um, number three, Destroyer. So the next one is this is epilogue, which is basically um, we see um, Terry McGinnis, um, come um, come talking to um, Man Waller when she, when they're when he when he's like an adult now because he's not a teenager like he's in Batman Beyond. And asking her, you know that I'm basically Batman's son, but for DNA, because he's a clone. But basically, what happened? They put like part of um, Bruce Wayne's DNA into his, into Terry McGinnis's dad, so that kind of makes Bruce Wayne his dad, but not really. But yeah, because she wanted to have another Batman after Batman dies, because apparently, because um. She um, stops Lex from like, when he took over Brainiac and destroyed the Watchtower and stuff like that. And she just could not trust Lex after that. And, and so she ended up actually trusting Justice League. So but she knows that the world cannot survive without a Batman. So she, even when Batman gets too old to fight anymore, she had to make sure another one was made. And let, but Batman didn't even know about this. Bruce did not even know that Terry is a is basically a clone of him. But Terry figured it out by when he had to um, get like a kidney for Bruce, and you find out he's the perfect mask for him, which is weird because they're not related. But he finds out they are. But Bruce did not know about this. So, but Bert, but she uh, tells him a story that. Um, that Batman had to go and stop Ace from like destroying the world and he makes her own more or less game in her image but she was gonna die from something I guess this is like too much. Man Waller goes and tells him to go and destroy her and but Batman gets over there and um, talks to her 
and he is yeah, and the aces ask um, Batman, will you stay with me? And Batman just gets haunted because they're both on a swing set, and Batman sits on the swing next to her, and just holds her hand and lets, and when Ace and, and Batman just stays with her until she dies. <laughs> See, like, Batman's not just a big old bro. He'll will be there for you when you're dying. <laughs> And that's why I love him. <laughs> and so my number one is the once and future, which is basically um, we see Batman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern go to the future, and they go to like they like go for a bunch of different time periods, but um, they go to um, they see um, Jonah Hill time period and they also see but they mostly go to the future where they see um it's mostly part two i like because um bruce wayne gets to meet his older version and i like their reaction to this part um where bruce meets or um terry just goes batman meet bruce wayne and, and, they, and they both say not now <laughs> And Bruce is like so surprised that his older self is still- You've traveled about 50 years into your future. And the Watchtower? It's gone. We lost a lot of good people that day. You mean Superman? Jean? All the others? Yeah. You too. And the Batcave? This is all we have left now. Deal with it. Surprised to see me? A little. I'm more surprised that I lived so long. Batman, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, Batman. Or have you met? Not now! Great. What did they used to call it? Stereo? This is a little weird for everybody. I'm Warhawk. Rex Stewart. Your mother. Who is she? Kind of obvious, don't you think? Even if it isn't, leave it be. You don't want to know too much about your future. Trust me. You really don't. Oh, he could be anywhere. Sometimes the old ways are best. It's not gonna work. You don't know your way around here. A lot of things have changed. Are criminals still superstitious and cowardly? Yep. Good enough for me. You're supposed to be the real Batman, right? I mean, the first one. I've seen history cubes about you. Hard to believe somebody stupid as you ever beat the Joker. Maybe I'm smarter than I look. Oh, terrific. You've got some information we need, ghoul. You won't find me the talkative sort. Hey! Where's Kronos? My arm's getting tired. I can't believe I was ever that green. This is how you interrogate someone. And we've got 9,453 active jokers organized into about 200 smaller groups. I don't know where Kronos is. He contacts us. He spends every night in a different one of those old buildings. There's no way of knowing ahead of time where he's gonna be. And that's everything I know. Everything? I went my bed until I was 14. Losing my patience. I can't control my friend here much longer. You better give us something we can use. His wife! I know where his wife is! Wow. Batman playing good cop. Everything's relative. Alive and kicking. <laughs> and he also has to stop his older self from hurting um, one of the Jokers because the Jokers is um, helping out um, the bad guy in this who is just basically um, trying to change time um, so much in this, and to where you can't even recognize it. So the future that they're seeing here, even though Green Lantern is seeing, is seeing his son, that is basically Hawk, him and Hawk Girl having a kid, and but right now he's not dating Hawk Girl, he's dating um, Vixen. And he's just really surprised about this. 
and stuff like that. And we also see, um, mm, sh sad as shock, but he is like an old man now. And we have, when we see all of them, we see all of them die, only ones that live through this, is basically, was, was, they had to fight the Jokers, but they're really powerful. And, poor Terry gets like, ripped apart by, by the, the jeans, the, the, the Jennies, or whatever they're called, uh, Jennies, Jeekies, I'm trying to remember, but it's basically, I'm a girl that's, Kind of like Harley Quinn, but she she's more dressed up as like a gingerbread woman. <laughs> you think about it. But they, well, there's like five of them. And they like tear him apart basically, and um, and and Bat Bruce and Bruce Wayne watches it. The older Bruce Wayne, and he like goes Terry, Terry, and but we also see um, Batman has to hold Bruce Wayne back from holding and. It is weird that the older Bruce Wayne is more roofer, ruthless than the younger Bruce Wayne. And yet, Batman has to play good cop. <laughs> yes, Batman has to play good cop this time. <laughs> yep, so that's this show. And those are my top fives of each. And I just love the show. So what's next? Well, next one I will watch is going to be Batman Beyond, but I will probably end the game, the, um, watch part of it, then watch any, some of it again, because I'm getting the, um, the one that it's coming on DVD and, uh, and on the 31st. So, this one might take a little bit longer for me to come up to review. So, there's that. So, what, so what do I give both these shows? Well, I love them both. I just give, I give them both 10 out of 10. So hold on, I gotta put something on Solly. Hey Solly, what'd you put this on me for? Do you look so cute with it? Fine, Joe, it's on the back. Can you guys see it? It's the bat. It's basically the Batman symbol. <laughs> Yes, I'm Batcat, guys! Batcat! What are you giving, Sully? Oh, for pies! I'm gonna stop thing off me! <laughs> and my tail! <laughs> Bye, guys! Like, for and subscribe, and help! I hate Martha! Make me wear this! <gasps> Bye!